Hi, I'm Kelly Panic, a forward on the PWHL Minnesota team as well as the U.S. Women's National Team, and I'm lucky enough to be joined here today by a fifth-year Gopher defenseman, a newly named captain, Madeline Wethington. Maddie, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Kelly. Excited to chat with you. Um, first off, you obviously have a sister on the team. Uh, one last year to play with her. I'm sure you guys are really excited to make the most of that. Yeah, we've grown up playing together our whole lives. It's been so much fun. We grew up from being together, uh, learning how to skate, and then all the way up to playing for the Gophers. It's been our lifelong dream. We do everything together. I mean, we share an apartment. We're in, in like two classes this semester together, so we're around each other 24-7. Centering pass for Brown! A goal! Anyone who knows your story knows that you have two aunts that are a very key piece to the history of this program. Uh, what has it meant to you to be a part of that and as well as in your last year trying to add to one of the banners up on the wall? I mean, I grew up watching Winnie and Chelsea play. I remember coming to Ritter and being so excited to watch them and getting to meet them, getting to meet their teammates after the games and getting autographs was so cool. It just made me want to be a gopher and fulfill that lifelong dream. So when I got that opportunity, I was just so excited. It means the world to me and my family and getting to wear the number five as well in honor of Winnie is fantastic. Switching gears a little bit, looking forward to the season. Last year, you had a stacked roster, a lot of experience, a lot of veteran experience, and with that class graduating, you have kind of this new group coming in. What are you looking forward to? What should the fans expect from you guys? Just tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, like you said, we have a ton of youth this year, which I think is a positive in a lot of ways because a lot of people get to fulfill roles that they haven't had in years past. And I think it's an exciting opportunity. Players are really hungry to get after it this season. A lot of people might think that this is a down year or um, underestimate us, but I think um, with that attitude coming in mind as being the underdogs, I think it'll be really helpful. Um, I think we tend to play better when we are kind of that underdog mentality. Um, so it'll be really exciting. Yeah, I don't know when the last time you could consider the Minnesota Golden Gophers as an underdog. So to take that mindset and flip it, tease it to your advantage is awesome. I'm really excited to kind of talk a little bit more about your skills. We're going to take it now to the ice to talk about what makes you such a great defender for this team. Now Wethington fires and scores. Madeline Wethington. So with you, a puck's rung up along the wall here. When you're walking across, do you like to push the puck in front of you from this side? It's different than the other side. Oh, for right? sure. Yeah, it's so much easier walking on your offhand on the right side because you're already in that shooting position, whether it's on the left-hand side. You're trying to walk, but you're not really in like the best shooting position. You have to like bring it back in order to shoot it. Um, so the deception-wise is a lot easier on the right-hand side because wingers don't necessarily know if you're gonna shoot it or pass it or keep skating so um, it's definitely a lot more difficult a lot trickier um, on the left hand side so it takes a lot more effort to get pucks on that. When you are pushing the puck across I feel like I've always been told defenders keep their hips and shoulders square to the net as much as you can adds that deception piece right you can go right you can go left you can go towards the net what do you like to do as you're walking across that blue line to, like you said, take advantage of maybe the, the winger has over pursued or they're too much to the inside. What are some of the things that you actually like to do in that position? Yeah, I try to get off the wall as quickly as possible um, because it's a lot easier for the defender that's coming out at you um, to get, get after you quickly if you're not moving across quickly. So I think it just starts with like three hard strides to the middle of the ice because it creates way more opportunities. That way I become a better option for passing it down the wall back to my winger or I become more of a better scoring opportunity in the middle of the ice. It's interesting as for me being a forward year defender you see a defender up at the point you're like it's not that hard but you, you're talking about it and you're reading so many different scenarios you're reading where how is this puck coming up to me what's the pressure like in front of the net do I have you know teammates in front it's tip and screen get rebounds where is there where is their defensive players at all these things so we're gonna get into it I'm gonna pass you up some pucks A few things that I really like that you do is especially on those those movements where you're cutting back in, 
you don't just get wide and then try to shoot, you actually get your weight going forward towards the net. That's one of the things I feel like I always try to think about, especially shooting from further out, like defensemen do, is a lot of people feel like you have to lean back to get to the puck in the net, but that takes away a lot of your power. So exactly. I like that you're pushing it and then stepping into it and actually getting your momentum going forward. The other thing, as you're walking across the blue line, you did that kind of double pump fake. And I've seen you do this in games. It's a really hard move to actually do because it's all about the pressure in your feet. So just while we're standing here before you try it again, I mean, what are you thinking about when you do that move? I just like want them to like hesitate because as soon as they hesitate, then I have them beat quickly. Um, I like to make them like either drop or just get freeze up, freeze bit. up. Because as soon as I get them to hesitate, then I have that lane around them. Nice.